what's going on, y'all? T-Bob here. And Jake as well. And you're about to watch a little OTB LSU. We're going to give you all the latest, greatest between LSU football, baseball, women's basketball, softball, and everything in between. Bottom line, if you want to talk Tigers, keep it locked, subscribe, like it, and uh, we hope you enjoy it. Uh, let me get a little uh, Chris Hilton, and as uh, now he finds himself as the old head in that wide receiver room. Basically just taking another step forward, uh, trying to become more of a vocal leader. Because I'm, no, I'm not the guy that talks much. I am normally lead by actions. I'm just trying to take that next step and being a vocal leader. Um, that's always a tough thing for some for, for people who are not necessarily uh, naturally um, extroverts. Uh, you saw with Jaden Daniels last year, something that he had to do. Chris Hilton trying to do the same now. Uh, here's Hilton on working with us. Uh, like I said, we came in at the same time in that 21 class, so that chemistry has kind of like always been there. But seeing him become more of a leader is what I'm most proud of. And then finally, now uh, Joe Sloan as the new offensive coordinator. Uh, like I said, they were uh, sharing the like, play calling in the bowl game, so I kind of got a feel of what that was like. And like I said, we early in spring ball now, so we're still cleaning stuff up, but I think we're going to be fine. So I should have said Joe Sloan and Cortez Hankton, but he's not the only Hankton on LSU staff anymore. As Corday Hankton, uh, Cortez's brother, has now been hired as a lead offensive analyst. Um, I like this move on a couple of different levels. First off, I think Hankton is one of the more valuable members of this staff. And uh, again, if the wide receivers do well again this season after what they lost, then yeah, that that just really proves without question that you need to keep this man happy at all times. Also, Corday brings a pretty interesting resume of his own here. He's He's been on shadow staff at Michigan State, Virginia, Texas, Colorado. Um, he used to be a police officer in New Orleans for getting a degree at Southern. So a ton of Louisiana inroads, ton of Louisiana experience. And, um, yeah, now added to that LSU shadow staff. So, Chris Hilton, I feel like all eyes are on you to be the next great, and you've got some very big shoes to fill. Let's see if you can do it. Uh, that receiver room has talent. That receiver room has players that we've talked about for a long time. But now when you lose ter uh, you know, two first-rounders at the same position, there's going to be some worry. There's going to be some questions. I wouldn't even say doubt because LSU just consistently – feels like they find their next great receiver, but you're losing two dogs. Yeah. And you bring one in from Liberty. You have a Chris Hilton who – he was out there with those guys. He was the three last year. What can he do now to be a two? Because Kyron Lacey was also a three at times, right? Different formations. I would say Kyron obviously more of the three than Chris Hilton was, but Chris Hilton was out there a ton with those guys. And Kyron Lacey, from everything I got yeah, I guess Kyron Lacey's probably the one right now. Yeah, he's, yeah, yeah I yeah, think yeah, he's yeah. the one for yeah, sure. yeah. yeah. Everything that I heard in that building yesterday was Kyron Lacey has gone to another gear. Yeah, he and looks And there's been more in. consistency there than in the past. Because Kyron Lacey's had moments. He's had them against Alabama. He yep. had them against A&M. But it was like, okay, some of those moments against Florida State. Like, you want to see more consistent play. And the word is so far that he's been that guy. Because LSU needs him and kind of has to have him be that guy. Wow, Jake. What incredible takes. I mean, those guys, they're just the best. Uh, I think so. And if you think so, again, hit the like button, subscribe, ring the bell so you get notifications when we post every single day here on OTB LSU.